Hi everyone, welcome back to the dig site. If you've been watching my recent videos, you'll know that I've uncovered uh, seven, seven US bottles here in our west coast of Scotland, 1960s dump site. Now these US bottles were made between 1880 and 1888, and I've actually now found three brown bottles which were manufactured between 1900 and 1920. Why are they here in a 1960s dig on the west coast of Scotland? Uh, I've been digging here and I've been finding tantalising evidence of life in the 1960s, which I actually find fascinating. So I'm going to keep digging. Hopefully I can find some more uh, of these bottles because 7 is not my lucky number. 10, maybe 12 is. So uh, as soon as I find something, I'll let you know. I've returned to the dig site which I left from last week. I got distracted by a mysterious uh, metal or ceramic object that actually features on another video. But I'm back to the original site again and already I'm finding something domestic. Looks like the uh, uh, a light for a uh, ceiling. And this mysterious looking thing here. A very large bit of... Is that wood? Is that it? Um, it's a bit of sandstone or something. A bit weird. This is a 60s dump site. Uh, most of the stuff here is domestic and was dumped here and not necessarily burnt. Um, as a result, there's a lot of plastic bags to dig through, and my first bottle of the day, a 1960s bottle. I found a few of these bottles already. Yep, and there's another one for the collection. I do like these little bottles here. Yes, most of the stuff here has been just dumped and then covered up. Um, but there are signs of a fire. Not a huge one, but there is signs. And there's also a sign of a bottle, which looks like an HP sauce bottle of some sort. I think it is. I've been pulling out bits of newspaper which have actually survived 55 years. That bit there tantalizingly says Monday, October. And it says DA, which is probably Daily Mail or something like that. There's a big slab here as well, and this I think is nothing but newspaper. Let's have a very gentle look here. Yes, it is. It's a newspaper that, or newspapers that have survived 55 years. I'm going to see if I can separate these and see if I can get a date on them. This newspaper is so fragile, as soon as you touch it, it falls apart. But I do know it's a local newspaper. Uh, I was hoping to see the very top of the paper, because that's usually where the, the date of issue is. No luck so far. Aha! I've had some success. There's a whole variety of newspapers here. That's the Sunday Post, that's the Scottish Sunday Express, and you'll see the dates, October 5 and October 6, 1969. I was looking for a news story as well, and I did find something here, a reference to the Belfast Barricades. And that was obviously very topical at the time. That looks like a lemonade bottle. But that one has a strange shape to it. Oh, and it is a strange looking one. Made in England. Can't read the brand. Cool shape though. I'm working through layer upon layer of plastic bags here. Because there's been no big fire, they've remained where they are. And of course you can't dig down, you have to dig across. This is a real hard dig, this one. There's not a lot coming out of this hole at the moment. There is this large bottle. Oh, what was that? At last, something a little ornate. A cute china lid of some sort. A bit of green glass, and it says on it, Williams and Humbert, London. I'll do some research tonight to find out what was in that bottle. I'm just curious to see what it says on this bottle. Struthers. A nice little bottle. Hmm. That looks like a lemonade bottle, and that also looks like a lemonade bottle. But they're coming out anyway. And there's another thing there as well. Right in the corner, see it? The third of those three finds is coming out easy. A very small, small jar of some sort. Plastic lid. 
Doesn't want to come out this one. Always happens when you do it live. Right, you're going to come out this time. Oh, only just. Hmm. These bottles are packed in tight. They really are. Ah, here we go. I was going to take a break, but uh, the bottles just keep coming. Not enough of a label to read that. And there's another one in there, which will not come out live, I'm sure. No, it's gonna have to be dug. There have been a lot of bottles dumped here, but most of them have been smashed to smithereens. One or two exceptions. <laughs> Well, what have I learnt so far? Well, it was dumped here. The stuff here was dumped no earlier than October 1969. We know that. Uh, there's a lot of broken glass, a lot of it. Uh, very few bottles seem to have survived, and those that have survived are probably recent 1960s or very small. But I'm going to keep digging because this is roughly where I found those, what did I say, seven US bottles from the 1880s and the three bottles from somewhere between 1900 and 1920. They were all found here, so I'm going to keep digging. This is what I thought was the lemonade bottle. I'm now starting to think it probably contained orange of some sort. Orange juice, orange cordial. It had a cork in it as well. Loads of things to find here. We have what must be a very large work boot of some sort. This isn't shifting. A bit of blue glass, but I'm interested in this bottle here. It does have a plastic screw cap, but I'd like to get that out in one piece. And what looks like a wine bottle. It's all very compact here at the moment. Right, the small bottle is about to come out. All right, let's try and get this big boot out. Here's a nice bit of china. Unfortunately, no maker's mark. And I think our boot is about to give up. There it is. And that is a big boot, look at that thing. And someone's nylons or something attached to it as well. This is a real battle, this site. It really is. But it's rewarding. I'm really enjoying it. Jeez. Right, it's time to check to see what our family from the 1960s were consuming. Bel Air hair conditioner. Eden Vale cottage cheese country style. One, two, floor cleaner. This has got me intrigued. Chocolate Hamden wafers. Mm. Squeezy, dishwashing detergent. This is cool as well. It's a plastic bag from Robertson's, who are apparently a dairy company in Govan in Glasgow. Fish fingers and potatoes. A good balanced meal there. And time for this wine bottle to come out as well. Hey, and it's full of something. Yeesh. Half a century of rainwater. One thing I'm finding very frustrating with this site is the fact that because there's so much plastic and so many plastic screwable lids, they all have these kind of, kind of circles in them. They're, they're seals and they come from the, the lids of plastic uh, lids and they look like coins. Another sauce bottle. Yes, it is. As I'm digging deeper, there are signs of a fire and jam jar or something. Another nice piece of china, and again, no clues on the back as to who the manufacturer was. A bit of glass, it does say Manchester on it. That's a long way from home. Anyway, another jar, and another small bottle. Lots of these ones, lots of them. I keep seeing these things and I keep thinking, oh, a half penny. Uh -huh. Anyway, here's another bottle. And it's a bottle of Windolin. There seems to be no shortage of sauce bottles in this site. Here's another one. 
There are bits of china starting to come out of this hole now. Unfortunately, none of them have maker's marks. Here are some of the smaller finds that I found. Lots of kids' things this time. A car, an American looking car, and I think this one might be beyond repair. Oops, yep it is. That, which I think is part of a belt buckle. Now this is cool. Part of a tin plate train, locomotive wheel. Goldberg, if it's the one I'm thinking of, was a local uh, jewellery store. We know of the people here in 1969, at least one of them had a pair of glasses. A little big bobbin of thread and some smaller bottles, bits and pieces. I'm pretty sure it's the plastic and stuff which I'm having to dig through which is making this dig so difficult. It is really hard work, especially on your back and when you're on your knees. Um, anyway, I'm gonna, I am going to come back and I'm going to finish the job here because it's been slow progress today. So I might come back in the next few days and I'll bring you guys along. Anyway, thanks for your support. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'll find out more about this family from 1969 and I'll see you next time.